Alright guys, it's Oink here, and in today's video I'm going to be covering a feature in Gran Turismo known as the RA functions, or Racing Adjustment Functions, which is a uh, hardware feature only natively on the Driving Force GT wheel, but can be configured to be used with other racing wheels, and also the DualShock 3 controllers. And in this video I'm just going to be covering how to set it up, and also what it does in-game. Okay, so here we can see the actual settings for it when looking directly at the Drive and Force GT. Now obviously this has the options built into the hardware as an actual button set. We've got the RA dial, the function menu, the select positive and the select negative. Now the dial itself is only available on the Drive and Force GT, but we can configure that differently for any other hardware. Uh, now if you've got a Drive and Force GT, you don't need to worry about any other configuration, it's there ready. So um, the next part is going to be if you're using any other bits of hardware for setting it up. Okay, so let's get straight into how to set this up with other hardware that's not the Drive and Force GT. So to start with heading to the My Home settings and from that options list you want to just choose simply Options. Now this will bring up the full list of different settings, various options for Gran Turismo. Now if you head down one page this is where we'll find the options if you're using a DualShock controller, just a standard um, analog pad as you can see there in the picture. So let's first configure this. Now I personally use when I'm, well I don't use a controller, but if I were to use it, I use my L2 and R2 as brake and accelerate. You can also, I would recommend using the right analog stick. I've actually covered this in a video, um, so check that out first if you're a little, you know, unclear about a good setup for driving with this. But I'm assuming on this that the D-pad is completely free for buttons, so that's not being used for steering, and um, other than maybe, you know, I don't know, turning on flashlights or something, it's not actually going to be being used for anything. So first of all, we're going to set our function menus. This is to bring up the actual menu. Now, I recommend using one of the L3 or R3, so that's when you click in the actual um, analog sticks. You could also use any of the, you know, X square and circle or triangle or maybe select. It depends how you have your controller set up. But I would recommend um, setting RA function menu to, for example, L3. That would be probably my preferred one. Perhaps R3 if I wasn't using that for uh, accelerating and braking and whatnot. So now we've got the function menu. We need to set up the um, scrolling through the menus and whatnot. Now I I'm going to suggest using the um, the D-pad for this, the directional pad. So first of all, for navigating up and down the menu, we're going to use the up and down on the D-pad. So for RA select plus, select the um, up, and for select down, select down. And then equally for adjust down, you want to use left, and for adjust up, we want to use um, right. So then you've got up and down, uh, on the menu is up and down and adjusting negative and positive is left and right and then we're going to be bringing the menu up with clicking in the left analog stick again don't forget you can change that to something else but this is just what I recommend um, if I were to be driving with uh, with this particular controller now if we've got a different steering wheel head down one more page and you'll find steering controllers now I'm going to mainly be covering um, the Logitech ones just because these are what I know I don't actually have any experience with anything else so first of all we're going to cover the G27 now this uh, I find when I'm racing the um, area where the stick shift is the uh, the H pattern shifter is generally not used that much in racing because it's a little inconvenient to just get your hand and find the right button so that's why we're going to be using that area for our RA functions. Now I pick one of those bottom row of red buttons that you'll see I'm sure you know it if you have the if you have the G27 or G25 now for our RA function menu I'm using the far left hand red button but of course you could assign that to any of those red buttons that you find the most convenient but I've selected the leftmost. Now for our um, adjustments and our selecting the menus it's exactly the same actually as the DualShock controller because this actually has a little d-pad on the, um, the shifter on the actual shifter box thingy. So for our up and down select we're going to be using up and down again and for our just positive and negative we're going to be using right and left just the same as we did uh, with the with the controller. Now the G25 racing wheel is almost identical so we're going to use the exact same setup with the D-pad for up and down and positive and negative adjustment on left and right and then one of those red buttons as the uh, select. Now if you've got something like a Driving Force Pro, something a bit older, it's very similar. We've got a D-pad on there 
um, you can assign your selections to that one for the menu select and maybe you want to put the um, RA menu on something like R3 or L3 something like that whatever's convenient on the wheel there for you and what isn't going to be something that you're going to be using all the time like turning on windscreen wipers for example isn't that useful Okay, so what exactly does the RA function do? Now, when you're in a race, this allows you to change various settings with the car on the fly as you drive. Now, you can change various settings such as traction control, four-wheel drive torque distribution, the ASM on or off, you can change the, sensitiv the sensitivity of ABS or even turn it off, and also you can change the brake balance at the front and at the rear. Now for the most part, I find that changing these mid-race isn't all that useful. However, one thing that this is great for is if you are using the uh, cars from the, favorite, uh, from the um, uh, garage online, the um, recommended garage, those don't actually allow you to change any of the settings. For example, brake balance is the main one. You can't change the brake balance on one of the cars from the recommended garage. So this is really useful for actually allowing you to change those. And also if you do, maybe if you're in the pits and you're finding that it's handling, you know, maybe a little bit tough or you decide you really want to get some a little bit of traction control on there, you can just change those when you've got a minute in the pits, let's say, or on a particular straight where you can just take a second to quickly change those. And it just allows you to just get that little bit of extra customization uh, when you need it and uh, for certain situations. So I hope this video has helped you guys out, found this useful, and uh, enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys later. If there's any questions, don't forget to leave those in the comments, and I'll try and help you guys out. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.